Hello and welcome to an Envato Tuts Plus quick tip. I'm Adi Pordila and in today's video I'll show you how to fix the cropped shadows or overflown elements that you sometimes get in Figma. Uh, this is a very common um, thing that happens when you create a group or add an auto layout to specific elements. So let me show you the problem and how you can fix it. So let's assume that uh, you're creating a button, right? And you're adding an auto layout to it. You're uh, giving that button a fill color and you're also giving it a drop shadow. So let's say you want to make a really big drop shadow here. Let's say 25. Cool. Now let's duplicate this button and let's select both of these and do an auto layout again. Now, what happened there? Where is the shadow? We can see the shadow here, but there is no shadow here. So what happened? Well, what happened is that when you're creating an auto layout, Figma creates a frame with those elements and automatically it sets clip content to true. So this will clip or hide basically any content that is outside the boundaries of that frame. In our case, it hides the shadow. So if I uncheck that bit, you'll see that the shadows are now visible. The same thing happens when an element overflows the boundaries of that frame. So in my case, here I have a frame and now my buttons are being hidden. But if I decide to uncheck clip content, those buttons will be visible. This is useful for when you're designing, <clears throat> for example, a carousel of images and you have some images that are just outside the boundaries of your main element, but you still want to see them when you're designing. Well, that's your solution right there. Uncheck clip content and you're good to go. All right, and that's how you can fix cropped shadows or missing overflown elements in Figma. Thanks for watching this quick tip. I'm Adi and until next time, take care.